Joe Sample. It was 1954-1955. I'm either 15 or 16 years old. The place is somewhere in a barn with a bandstand along the East Texas and Louisiana border. We are in sugarcane country, approximately 200 miles from my hometown of Houston, Texas. I am the piano player in a band, the house band, the road band. We are the put-together band, country towns. These blues artists could have been Gate Mouth Brown, T-Bone Walker, Big Walter, Little Walter, Johnny Copeland, Percy Mayfield, or any number of those particular men that were prominent at that particular time. The custom was the band played a warm-up set, and of course the singer finally comes on to the bandstand, and then the show commences. We, of course, wanted to play our jazz. We were doing anything, we would do anything to play jazz, and we would force jazz over the top of these rhythm and blues grooves. Suddenly, men would start walking from the back of the room and approach the bandstand. This man said to me, look, I want you niggas to understand something right now. We paid 25 cents at the front door, and we came in here to have a good time. Now, it sounds to me you guys are playing a bunch of book, and we're not getting our money's worth. So we're going to tell you now, we will take your instruments from you, whip your ass, and destroy your vehicles, and more than likely you will have to walk and beg your way back to Houston, Texas. Now, we will do this to you unless you make us feel real good, real suddenly. So, of course, this is the supreme method and technique in the learning of how to groove. I became an instant groove master, as so did all of my buddies on the bandstand. This is a tale of development along the Texas-Louisiana border. Thank you.